guys! So Christian starts his new job tomorrow and he's gonna start work half an hour earlier than me and he's gonna get home half an hour later than me and so that means I can never come home to supper anymore. Sniff sniff. Today was pretty much the last day so I got home and harassed Christian to make supper for me and I was like, but it's your last chance and he, well at least during weekdays and he's like, what do you mean chance? Like, that's not fun. But anyways, I bugged, I harassed him enough. I said to make um, chicken nuggets and some craft dinner or mac and cheese. So uh, I just picked something easy. I was like, that'll be easy for him to make. Plus we don't have a whole lot right now. Um, where else was I gonna say? Oh yeah, there was a package in the mail for me and I was really confused because I couldn't remember ordering anything but it came to my my apartment address, not my P.O. box. So, cause at first I was trying to figure out if there's a P.O. box item then I was like, wait, this is my home address, not my P.O. box, it's something else. And then, so I didn't know what it was till I opened it and it was, stab my eye out, the mermaid book from Pencil Butter that I bought. Ah! Oh! I was like freaking out about this on Tumblr and I was watching the YouTube video for it and basically, I've said this before, but basically as soon as I saw on Tumblr that this was available for purchase, I was like, uh, yoink, that is mine, I am buying that. It's actually larger than I thought it was. This is the scale compared to my hand. I thought it was a little bit smaller. Well, looking through my camera screen, it looks a bit smaller, but in real life it's actually quite large. So, oh, so beautiful. Let me take it out of the plastic. So, like I said, this is by an artist who online goes by the name Pencil Butter. I'll leave a link to her YouTube channel, etc., etc., in the description. But the reason I wanted this so badly is because it's mermaid and the hair is like my hair color and teal and pink is like my ultimate color combo. So it was almost like this was made specifically for me even though it was not. But oh good goodness, let's get some beauty shots of this. Without glare, thank you very much, light bulb. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go. Look at those eyes, oh my goodness. And then there's glitter around the edges. And then the back has the fin and everything. I feel like just touching this, my oils are seeping into the cover of the pad. Ah, uh, ah, uh, because it's a notebook. It's a moleskin notebook, but I'm definitely not gonna write in this. I'm just gonna display it. But I'm scared of taking it out of the plastic, but the plastic, you know, makes it too reflective. So I'm not sure. I think for now I'll end up propping it up on my desk, something like this. But we'll see what I end up doing in the future, but this is so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. If you're watching this, you're amazing. Pencil butter. This is so gorgeous. So my boss made a decision today that made me and my coworker very, very happy because the two of us are animators and we're just a small studio. So most of the animation is actually being done by a different studio, but the two of us will get to do some of the animation in the house, which is awesome. And it's actually gonna be a decent amount. I mean, it's it, overall, it's a small portion of the movie, but because there's just two of us, it's a lot of animation work, which is going to be awesome. But anyways, where I'm getting at is um, right now we're not animating yet. We are doing layout, which is like bringing in the scenes, bringing in the characters, setting up the cameras, putting in the audio and stuff like that. And um, basically lots of composition stuff. And uh, we are also posing the characters, though, because normally posing is not a part of layout, but my boss requested that we start doing poses, this was a while back, and we said, well, that's gonna take a lot of time, like more time than we have, and we tried convincing him that it would take too long, but he wanted us to try it anyway, so we've been doing that for the last few months, but we made a schedule today, because he requested a schedule, and he saw like how long it's actually gonna take, and he said, okay, scrap that, we're not gonna be doing all the poses anymore, and we were just like, ah, rejoice, because I mean, posing is fun for the first while, but after a while, like, it is the first step of animation, but it's not fun if you don't go beyond the posing. And so if we just do cameras, yeah, it's, it's a little less creative because you don't get to pose the characters, but it, the work is gonna go by so much faster. It's gonna be ridiculous how fast we get through this layout now. And that will leave more time for animation. It's, 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 so we just kind of found that out at the end of our shift and we are super pumped because layout's gonna be done sooner and we get to do more animation so we're just picking and choosing which scenes we want to animate from the movie and I have two picked out one is six shots long another one is eight so I'm hoping that's not too many shots that's 14 shots total which is actually a lot but some of it's a good portion of it's just kind of mediums and close-ups of characters talking so I don't think it'll be too bad so Ooh, I just want to be done. And I'm going to start the animation for this movie and then I'll have feature film 
experience. Yeah, yes. <sighs> just so I just want this movie to be done, just so I can see it in theaters. Not that I'm like, oh, I'm done with this movie. I need it to be over with. No, I just want to like see the finished product and be like, look at and there's all our names. Everyone here, there's all our names in the credits, and like, look at the thing that person made and that person. <sighs> it's just cool. I'm just getting excited. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> Oh, you guys, I've just been laying here for so long. I actually just woke up because I fell asleep. Yeah. <laughs> it's just one of those nights where I just lounge around and then I just end up falling asleep because I'm not doing anything. I'm gonna go catch up all over my shirt. I don't know how well you'll see it in this lighting, but I didn't even notice right away when it happened. And then later on, I'm like, oh my God, I'm such a slob. Well, it's not actually catch up. It's this sauce. I've been noticing when I'm editing my videos that in certain lighting situations my camera thinks my hair is purple and I mean it is ever so slightly but it really it's not it's really greenish right now um, it's just because the blue I use has a purple base and so it kind of fades purpley and it's not even the blue I used to use because the colors I used to use are out of stock and they've been out of stock for several months and special effects finally got more colors in stock but it's not the colors I need and so I'm so bummed and so no stores are carrying the colors because special effects needs to make them. So I have switched over to this other blue and it's a purple base. The old one I used was green based and so my hair is kind of purple. It's, it's almost like purple streaks at the very top. I don't even know if my camera will pick it up but it's the same way my hair used to fade but before it would fade to a really light yellowish green. Now it fades to a purpley color, which actually looks better because it just makes my hair look, it just makes the color look a little bit more dull, but not like yellowish. God, I hated the yellow color, but oh, there's too much hairspray around my bang area. <laughs> but um, when I flip my hair over, it's more green underneath. Again, I don't know how my camera will pick this up, but the color is more vibrant underneath. It's just the top layer that mostly fades. And so the top layer makes it almost look like I have purple streaks in my hair. It's, it's kind of weird. <laughs> Oh, yeah, now you can see that stain a lot easier. <laughs> well, it's probably not going to stain. But anyways, um, I do need to dye my hair soon. It's been quite a while since I've colored it, and I've got like the roots coming in. And it makes it so that I don't want to have day three hair anymore because my hair starts to kind of, when it's getting oily, it sort of separates. And then you can see brown in between the sections of hair. That's really extreme, but uh, I put a lot of... Uh, corn starch this morning, but the hair will start to separate and you're not only seeing roots on the top You're seeing roots down the side of your hair <laughs> Gross, so I probably need to dye it soon and I'm gonna try to get out as much color as I can before I re-dye it Usually I'm just like ah, oh, whatever re-dye it, but this color can't lighten your hair It only darkens it and so each time I dye my hair It's gradually getting darker and darker and I want it to be a lighter color so I don't know if I should try using a color remover or not because I've read that that's made for permanent dyes, not this type of hair dye, although it will lighten my hair, but it won't get rid of all of it. But so I'm thinking of trying it. I'm just scared it'll do something weird to my hair, but I don't know. I'm sort of leaning towards trying that and then I'll use, like I have some hidden shoulder shampoo that I used for like a week and stopped using. I might try to use that because that apparently gets color out of hair. So I'm just going to try a variety of techniques over the next bit and uh, re-dye because it's getting a little nasty. At least, I don't know, in some lighting it looks good, some lighting it looks bad. And so I just, overall it just needs to get redone and I'm very picky about upkeeping it. So I want to dye it sooner rather than later. So you know how yesterday I said my plan was to have the vlog edited by 10.30 then I'd crawl into bed and just kind of sketch for half an hour before going to sleep. Well. I got the vlog uploaded by pretty much exactly 10.30, but I kind of forgot to take into account the time it takes me to get ready for bed, so I had like no time to sketch. I actually stayed up past 11 to finish my little sketchy doodle, and then I uh, was on my phone for a little bit, because it was a little bit bad. So I didn't get to bed right at 11, but it was still earlier than usual, so this is a... Uh, what I ended up drawing, I just copied it from this book that I showed in yesterday's vlog. And so it's just kind of cool structural way of drawing the body. So I just tried it out and that's all I really got done. <laughs> well, I guess that's it for tonight. So thanks for watching and see you guys tomorrow. It was too much. It was too hot. That's how nice it is. <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself? I got the job. <gasps> Did you? Yeah. Ah, congratulations. 
So they let you know right then yep. there. Yes. Yay. I don't know if you want to say it to the camera or not, if it's just more private. <laughs> no, whatever. Wait.